back here with Max Jones now talking K-State basketball at Big 12 Media Day. Uh, you've had multiple stops throughout your collegiate career. Each one, it's kind of a, a step up in competition. Yeah. What are you most looking forward to about playing in the Big 12? Um, I just say the competitiveness. Um, it's definitely going to be a dogfight every game. Um, that's what I look forward to. That's why I, I came here. So just I'll just say the competitiveness. Yeah. What's it been like? Because you started – playing college ball in Florida right yeah. and then California uh, now you've you've hit the the mid coast instead of the east coast and the west coast you're in Kansas uh, what's the culture shock been like there <laughs> it's definitely a culture shock for real um, there's nothing nothing really out there in Manhattan um, but I think I use that to my advantage because um, since there's nothing to do you got more time in the gym so that's what I've been doing is just getting extra shots, extra recovery on my body and stuff like that. So. And the, we'll, we'll talk basketball in a second, but I know that one of the things that Coleman had mentioned when he was in, in the portal was looking for a school where football was a big deal. Mm. What's it like for you going to a school now and experiencing football on Saturdays? Yeah, so my past two schools didn't have football. Um, this, and the, this school definitely has football. <laughs> uh, we're doing pretty good too. So um, it's definitely different. Um, and I've always been a football guy growing up. So I've definitely been tuned in and going to the games and stuff like that and definitely looking forward to Saturday. So you come to K-State playing for Jerome Tang. What's it been like getting to know him and the staff? It's been, it's been a blessing. Um, Coach, Tang is, Coach Tang and the coaching staff is all black staff. Um, I feel like they have the plan, they have the blueprint for me and for every, everyone on my team. Um, and they show a lot of love. They, show, they, bring, the very, they bring the family aspect out of, every, out of you every time. Um, and they just want everyone to be together, no one individualized. So that's what I, I really like about them. If you had to give a, a scout of your own team right now, what would you describe the Cats as being? Um, I'd say very fast, um, very long, very versatile. Um, we get up and down the court like, like nothing. Um, we're in shape to where the point where we're going to run teams out of the gym. So that's what I feel like. We're, we're definitely – I feel like we're definitely on another level than other teams. So, yeah. where, where do you feel like you guys have been in the off season in terms of shooting the ball? Because I know that's one of the things this team struggled on last mm -hmm. year. And obviously, you come in. I think you're one of a slew of players that we talked about all off season. If you were on the team last year, you would have been the best three point shooter on yeah. the team. So, what's it been like experiencing that? Um, it's been different. Um, the way we get up and down the court, everyone gets shots. It's not just you know one guy catch fire and it's just him. You know what I mean? Um, everyone shares the ball. Everyone, we have a lot of shooters. So it's not just me. It's not just Coleman. It's not just we got Brandon Hawson, best shooter in the country, uh, in my opinion. Uh, we got C.J. Jones, best shooter. Um, we got a couple other guys. Our freshman Dave, he's, he's a freshman. He doesn't carry himself like a freshman though. He carries himself like a senior. So yeah. Who's been the the guy that in practice you've enjoyed going up against the most? Um, I'd definitely say Coleman, because uh, you know. Coleman has a lot of hype, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and I love just playing against him. I love playing with him because um, he sees the floor at a different at a different pace and stuff like that. So it's definitely fun playing with him. When you come into to play in the Big 12 now, is there one specific venue that you're most looking forward to playing in this year? Yeah, I'd definitely say UCF. It's just because, you know, I'm it's in mm -hmm. Florida. That's where all my family is going to be. Uh, I definitely have that place packed out with my family. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to that game. Uh, UCF will probably appreciate you delivering some ticket sales to them yeah. for basketball for the first time and who knows yeah. how long. Uh, thinking about where the team has performed this, this offseason, what's kind of the, the look of when you guys are out there right now? Like who's, who's handling the ball, bringing it down the floor? What's, what's the offense feel like to you? Because I know that it was a big issue for this team last year. Yeah, uh, we got a lot of ball handlers. Um, we have Doug McDaniel. He's – Excellent ball handler, C.J. Jones uh, and Dave Castillo. Um, I feel like with them at the guard or them bring, handling the ball, it could spread the floor out a lot because we have a lot of big, a lot of big pieces too. Um, you got me, Brendan, um, C.J. C.J. can play a lot of different positions. Me and Brendan as well. Um, and I just feel like we stretch the floor really good. So yeah, and we play, we really we play fast, we play really fast. Yeah. It, it, the speed, you've brought it up a couple of times now. It, have you played to a similar pace in your career, or is this maybe the fastest that you've experienced? It? Uh, I played at a similar when I played at U University of Tampa because it had to be fast. Um, at a D2 level, it's obviously, obviously very different. Mm -hmm. um, here is way more like athleticism and stuff like that. But 
I'd say now it is very fast, um, but we don't go too fast to where we turn the ball over. We have a, like a very a specific pace that we have that that's very good. So yeah. defensively for you guys, I know that guys like Coleman and everybody else, there's a lot of length on the team. And mm-hmm. then I think some people have maybe questioned how the guards will look defensively because it's tougher to quantify. Yeah. Where do you feel like the team is defensively right now? Uh, I feel like we're very good. Uh, we still have a lot of stuff to learn. Um, Defensive-wise, I feel like that's our – that's our. we're going to use that as our chip on our shoulder because I feel like not a lot of teams think that, you know, defense first. But we, we're our defense first. Um, we only score – if we get a stop, you know what I mean? Uh, our, all, our main object, objective of the game is to get a stop, get a stop, get a stop. So, yeah. I'll put you on the spot here. What are your three favorite things about K-State or Manhattan since you've arrived? <laughs> My three favorite things? It can be basketball or non-basketball related. So Okay. Uh, number one, I would have to say the food is very good in Manhattan. A, a bunch of, like, little businesses and stuff like that have very good food. And number two, I would say um, just the people. A, uh, all the people are very nice. There's no negative energy. Everything's very positive. Um, and, then, and then three, I'll just say, um, I'll just say the coaching staff. Um, they just bring a different aspect um, of family and love and all that type of stuff um, that I haven't really felt, you know. Um, and that's what really made me commit here. So, so yeah, that's what I would say. Uh, in terms of, do you have any? expectations that you've put on the team for this year or is it just kind of if we play as well as we can we're going to get to wherever we, we need to go yeah um i don't really think about that much, as, as much i just feel like we just go with the flow and just take step by step um because we still have a lot of stuff to learn um we're very good at some stuff but we're very bad at some stuff too so i just feel like if we focus on the stuff that we're bad at we'll be very good how you talk about focusing on the bad then since you know the summer and now you get into the fall how good has this team been at adapting to fixing any problems that you guys have yeah so uh every practice is a different practice um you could tell we get better after film sessions after practice after off day um you could tell everyone takes care of their body you know i just say everyone everyone learns you know i mean no one's uncoachable everyone's very coachable um and i just feel like that's a very like that's one thing about our team that everyone's very coachable. So. You've only been here for a handful of months now, but it, do you have any coach on the staff or maybe a fellow teammate uh, that you can do an impression of or they have a, a, a something they say frequently that makes you laugh? Or Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have an impression of Moby. Uh, he's one of my teammates. He's, um, he's a foreign. He's foreign. Uh, you want me to do it right yeah, now? Yeah, go for it, yes. <laughs> All right, I need, I need to think of it, though. He has a different accent, though. <laughs> well, because he's kind of – he's got a blend of a bunch of different yeah, he places. Just says, he says yeah. a bunch of stuff that doesn't make sense, and then it's just funny at the end of the day. So, Oi, what, what are you doing over there? I, I bang you. That's what you say. <laughs> <laughs> it's just very different, but he's very cool. One of my, uh, one of my well, good friends. He, uh, most of you guys are coming in here brand new to the team. There's only three guys that have been here more than a year now on mm-hmm. this roster. What's it been like for you guys figuring out K-State and Manhattan together? Yeah, it's been good. Um, it's not really much to do. Um, so we really just hang out with each, with each other, um, do a bunch of stuff. Like we, we always go get food and stuff like that. And then we always have like a family dinner at Coach's house, so that really brings us together too. So, so yeah. Do, do you ever worry about all these new guys coming together in one year, the fit and, and making things happen on the court, or has that been pretty easy for you guys? Um, it's been pretty easy. Um, we have our here and theres, but I mean, you could tell like right now we're ready to play someone else. Yeah, yeah, you could definitely tell we're ready to play. Some, being up on each other every day is definitely taking a toll on us, but we're ready. So, yeah. all right. Well, uh, next time that you guys get the chance to do that, it'll be Fort Hayes State next week. Yep. I don't know if you know this. This happened before Coach Tang was here, but. Uh, K-State actually lost to Fort Hayes State during the COVID year, which D2 school and everything. So yeah. uh, I'm sure the fans will be very much interested in you guys getting to beat up on some Yeah, 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 too. definitely, definitely. That's, that's the goal. That's the goal. <laughs> All right, awesome. We appreciate it, Max. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.